Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of The Vampire Diaries. Today we'll be watching episode 12, Unpleasantville. Um, in episode 11, Bloodlines, I said in one of the parts or the scenes saying that I don't know how you guys like Damon and I think some of you took it a really bit personally. Um, I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to offend the character or the actor in any way because what i meant was like right now at the way the story is playing out for me and from the way i'm seeing it damon is not looking up as a great character right now it's stefan but it's not that i hate the character i know his character arc will thicken and he will be a bit more better in the future seasons but um it's no offense to the character at all or to any of you who love damon i completely understand that you would love damon if i have offended anyone and for those who really love damon i am so sorry i didn't mean to but it was not my intention all right enough of that i will get right to this episode i hope you guys have been enjoying the reactions bracelet for jeremy a few extra ones for friends you can oh. put it in jewelry or you can even put it in food or but as long as it's in you or on you, a vampire cannot control you. Nice. Uh, here, come in. Just put it on the table. No! Okay, great. Oh. You're just bitter because one of us gets to be with the person that we love, and poor Catherine is just out of reach. Unless there's another way for you to get into that tomb. Is that what Bree said? You're pathetic when you're fishing, and you're transparent when you're deflecting. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Jonathan Gilbert. Uh -huh. Oh, my ancestor's general? I'd really like to see that sometime. Really? <laughs> First person to count of the Civil War? That's like uh, porn for a history teacher. Okay. So, guys, I thought that Rick was a vampire. Now, when he was not able to find his ring in the sun, I don't think he's a vampire anymore. I don't know. Like, is he, you know? If it's what you and Matt want, then it's not about me. I like that. And it's all about you. Mm. Matt's not over you and we all know it. That is true. I've not thought about Matt. Like, has he moved on? I don't think so. First season, man. Wow. Yeah. It's kind of hard to recover when you have to forfeit happiness. What's with the hotties in this Mystic Falls, man? And P.S. I do find Damon and Stefan extremely hot. Like, wow. You just found out your boyfriend is a vampire. So, unless your birth parents are aliens, how bad could it be? Yeah, that's true. Now she can find her birth parents. You know, I can start fires with my mind. I wow. just kill vampires, right? Just stay the hell away from me. Oh! <laughs> and I knew me. I always know a pretty face. I take that back. He ain't no hottie. <laughs> you got away from me. You won't next time. Have the vervain on. Okay, but why specifically her? Gilberts were one of the founding families, and back in 1864, they were among those who sought to eradicate the vampires. The compass was used to find them. I love that, the irony that her ancestors, well, adopted ancestors, tried to kill vampires and then ended up, she ended up with the vampire. I've got to work. Awesome table with the girl. Since when he healed, bus boy. It's a job. You know, some of us have to work, Caroline. What do you say about the vampires? Did you believe it? I don't even believe it. It's just a paper. Is she a vampire? Mm. Ours total delivered her baby and he gave her a place to stay, but a few days later she disappeared. They didn't want to lose you, so they kept it quiet, told as few people as possible. What else do you know about her? Just her name, Isabel. Wow. Nowhere in it does it say anything about Catherine oh. or the tomb or how to open it. I thought that's what, the, what you got. I'll do anything to get you out of this town. Even release Catherine. What about the other 26 vampires? No, no, they can't come. They have to stay put. But Catherine, I would consider that. Are you serious? Um, Elena. Oh my god, Elena, vampire alert. <laughs> Oh my god, that happened real quick. Damon, he was invited in. Till we get him, this house isn't safe. For anyone who lives in it. Wow. You gotta do this, because otherwise, how will you explain this to Jenna and Jeremy? What's Damon doing here? He wanted to come. I promise, he'll behave. 
What is this, like a threesome now? You and the Salvatore brothers? Wow. No, but if I'm gonna be with Stefan, then I have to learn to tolerate Damon. I'd be lying to you if I told you you didn't keep me up at night. I'm wondering why, by who. Maybe one day. Oh, boy. Oh. Would you like to dance? I would love to. <laughs> You also neglected to invite me. <gasps> this ba this babe is um vampire. He's a washed up jock who pours drinks for a living. You could do way better. Hey. What's up? Caroline. You uh you live here your whole life? On and off. Travel a bit. Really? Where? Around the states? I'm sorry. Nosy out of I don't mean to pry. I'm proving something to my friend. Oh, yeah? What's that? That you don't have to sit around and wait for a guy to come up to you. Do you like karaoke? No. Oh, then no. Sorry. You don't like karaoke. Nope. <laughs> Can I borrow your ancestor's room? No, no. No. I give it to my history teacher. This babe. What's the big deal with the stupid journal? Oh. <gasps> right. Great tool. Whoa. She looks like Catherine. She's not Catherine. Okay, Catherine is in the tomb. I know, but until we open that tomb, I got her to play with. Don't be stupid. That girl is with the Salvatore brothers. They don't scare me. They never... Oh my god, Catherine is literally created a chaos. I can snap his neck so fast, I bet there's not even a witness. I'll start walking. Don't you dare touch him. Stefan, where is he? Damon! <laughs> Rick is gonna see all this rubbish. Got a job as a teacher. Do you know what I am? You're my stupid brother. Is everything you're telling me the truth? Yes. Don't forget we had this conversation. <laughs> no, the Vivian! You and Catherine go, and the other 26 vampires die. I agree? I'll help you. Why should I trust you? Because I'm your brother. No, that's not gonna cut it. Because I want you gone. I'm, I'm not over Elena. I don't. I mean, I don't know if I am, but if we go there, then it could mess things up, and we might lose this. I, you can talk about your wife all you want. <laughs> it's gonna take time to heal. We should just be ourselves. Still, I think I'll keep the Isabel talk to a minute. Isabel? Yeah. I'll do it. Oh my God! Oh my God! The freak! What? Oh. Are you sure you're okay with this, guys? I fought back tonight. Yeah, well done for that. Good. good job. I really liked it. I told Damon that I'd help him get into that tomb, get Catherine back. But it was a lie. I let him believe that he could trust me. I don't want to be his enemy, Elena, but I can't let him do it. Oh my god, how many of you are there? Oh, the witch is totally crushing on me. Did you get the journal? No. But I know where it is, and I'll get it. Oh my god! Oh freak! So <laughs> this is taking a turn. Oh my god, guys! What was that? That was insane. We have so many vampires now. I knew that this girl was a vampire. Actually, I didn't say it, but I just had that thing that you know. How is it possible that she met up? At the same time, Jeremy was and happened to know so much about the, va you know, animal attacks and, you know, different things here and there. Uh, you know, willing to help out Jeremy in the first go, very eager to get to know him and everything. And yeah, I just knew, like, but I just didn't say, I thought maybe, you know what, she really likes the guy. And he happens to be single, so I thought maybe it's a new love interest. But, <laughs> oh my god, I didn't realize this would go to that level. And now this mystic grill uh ben he's a vampire too so there were three of them um one has is dead um noah noah and anna, anna um and ben 
um, these three are vampires who knew Catherine, right? So I'm pretty sure the reason why they want Jonathan's uh, Gilbert's uh, journal is because not only just to maybe not just for um, to see Catherine, but do they have like someone they know within those 26 vampires or something? But how is it possible that these guys are here now? Like, is there a, a gang or something that are still in Mystic uh, Falls that we are not aware of? At least because we have seen three. One is gone now. But it's just, oh my God, like that's insane. I just, I, I never expected it, but it's going really well. I really enjoyed this episode very much. And um in terms of uh, Damon, I, I'm, again, I'm not going to say that I didn't like, he was really, like, he was very, very helpful and I know that, but I just feel like his obsession with Catherine right now is going to get the best of him and it's going to, like, backfire his plan and even if he does open up the tomb, um, it's not going to be, like, it's not going to go well because how is it possible that you open up the tomb and let only Catherine out without and containing 26 vampires like that's just not possible uh, at least i don't think so because who knows because they said in the previous episode that they've gone to that point where they have like defecated everything and they are like now surviving somehow so they will i think they'll get they'll just be more stronger and cut through damon and that includes Catherine as well and just like hoard the town and just start killing and eating and everything. So I think this plan is a total fail. And with regards to the Jonathan book, like how is it possible? I think, you know what? Yeah, I think the Gilbert book, um, like, you know how uh, Rick was really interested to see the book and, you know, to learn more about that. Uh, initially, I thought it was about the research that he has on vampires. But now that we know that this has, like, you know, the secret to opening up the tomb itself. I'm not sure if Rick knows about the tomb. But maybe he's seen it somewhere or knows about it somewhere. But I don't think so. I just feel that maybe he'll just come across this spell and it will have directions as to where the tomb is and whatnot. But why would Jonathan Gilbert's journal have that? If the Gilbert's have uh, a compass to make sure that you know it will point where vampires and they were totally like you know f against the entire vampire thing so they were killing them like the gilberts um the full family i just don't understand that like why would he have a spell that would open up a tomb full of vampires so that i don't know i just made that makes no sense but it's just i think of course, with more and more context and understanding as to what the episodes are going to be, I think we'll, we'll definitely get more clarity. It's just that right now I'm just trying to, you know, build a theory up in my mind and see if that works. But um, other things aside, um, we have our first name in terms of Elena's um, hereditary. Her mom is Isabel. The thing is... His, Rick's wife's name was Isabel. I really hope that wasn't the same Isabel because she's dead, right? Like, Rick's Isabel. I, pff, God, uh, I don't know. If she is, well, that's unfortunate. I mean, at least she never met her mom. But yeah, I don't think she needs to know about it also, Elena. But yeah, that's a story for another time, but that's insane. And um, I feel bad for Jeremy. I think he's just made a new friend who he thinks he can trust a little bit, but who thinks really does have a, you know, has taken a liking towards him. And now he's just going to be all, um, he's going to be very shocked when he finds out that she is a vampire. Because I think when he saw the eyes, it's going to go into that ultimatum where he, he will find out very soon enough that vampires do exist and whatnot. And maybe there is like a like a spell or something that can prevent vampires from attacking him. I don't know, but excepting, of course, he has the like you know Elena has the vervain and whatnot. But in terms of attacking, I don't know. He has he has to know that he has to keep wood by his side and just like stick him in the heart. And also, someone told me that wood can only uh, kill a vampire when it's straight to the heart. That I didn't realize. So that's why that guy was not dying when the wood was 
fun um stabbed right into him and then of course when stefan did he died so makes sense anyway that is an insane episode i really enjoyed it unpleasant will what an episode i'm very excited for 13 so thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next episode if you haven't subscribed to the channel please don't forget to do so i really do appreciate all of your support and if you're going out please don't forget to wear a mask and stay safe for your friends and family i really do appreciate that as well please and i'll see you guys in the next one i hope you all have been having a great day bye